All right, good morning. It is day two. Don't know where we're going. Um, up getting breakfast. I'm going to try to get breakfast and coffee. I think we're going to try the one of the main dining rooms. So there is the Norwegian app. You can check in um, standby, looks like. Um, I don't know if this looks different for this sailing than any other sailing, but it says you can join the standby list and it'll alert you whenever your table's ready. So that's what we've done. We'll see what happens. Now there are two Starbucks located on board. They are not complimentary and they are not included in your drink package that you have to pay a la carte, but be sure to check out the location at Indulge Food Hall. That way you don't have to wait in this long line. One thing I love about the ship is that everything's so bright. Like everything's well lit. It's probably the brightest ship that I've been on. So I really like that. I also like that the duty-free shops are spread out across the ship, so you can shop all over the ship. Sid Norman's Poor House is a very popular concept with Norwegian Cruise Line, and I can tell you that this venue, it's gorgeous, but guests were lining up two hours in advance for the show, so, and it does fill up and it becomes standing room only, so if you wanna check out the live band on the live performances, be sure to arrive early um, to try to get a seat, otherwise you'll be standing. And it got pretty packed, so unfortunately we did not get any, um, we weren't able to capture any footage of the live performances. Nama Sushi is one of Norwegian Prima's upcharge restaurants. So you can come in and purchase rolls and different things a la carte, or you can dine here as part of your specialty dining package. And here we are in Hudson's dining room. This is one of the main dining rooms aboard Norwegian Prima. I absolutely love that regardless of where you sit in this dining room, you're going to get some amazing ocean views. So you have a 180 degree um, dining room that again, you have these amazing ocean views. So I ordered a bunch of stuff for breakfast. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is my very first time on NCL. So, um, yeah, ordered a bunch of different things just to try it, so we'll see. If not, So yesterday, I didn't get a chance to close out the vlog. So we had dinner at the steakhouse. Um, it wasn't that great, honestly. Um, thankfully, with this being an inaugural sailing, um, we didn't have to pay for it. Um, but I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I did order shrimp cocktail, steak, um, just wasn't seasoned, so um, a little disappointed in that. But overall, yesterday the food everywhere else was amazing. Um, really, really liked the um, food hall concept. Um, everything we had there was really, really good. So um, yeah, we'll probably be back there today for lunch. So today we're just going to be exploring the ship, um, taking you guys with us on some cabin tours. Probably just going to relax. Um, just trying to learn the ship, trying to learn everything there is to know about NCL. So really excited to be on this sailing. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get into. Don't really have any solid plans for today, but um, yeah, we'll see what, what I get into. really really good it's crunchy I don't know if it's like caramel or something on it but it's really good probably should have eaten it when it came out hot but it's good
Let's take a look at Studio Lounge. This is an area that's designated only for those guests who are solo cruising. Um, so if you are a solo cruiser, this would be a space for you to maybe kick back, relax, um, maybe connect with other solo cruisers. Um, they do have a lounge area. They have um, different snacks and treats available, as well as coffee. Um, I believe they also have beer and wine and a soda a fountain. So again, this is for those who are cruising solo. And here we are in an actual solo cabin. Now I have to say that this is probably the smallest cabin I've ever seen, um, but again, it's functional. You have a bed, you have closet space, you have storage space. Um, so it is pretty functional, but it is very tiny. I don't think I could, if I was cruising solo, stay in this cabin. Um, it's really tiny. You do have this TV here that swivels on a stand for you. Um, the bed looks like a standard bed. It was pretty comfortable, um, but yeah, plenty of shelves here for you to store things. Now the restroom, is a nice size for this cabin space um, and the door as you see here serves as the door to the restroom as well as the door to the shower so again they made the space pretty functional but it's really tiny all right we are headed back toward indulge food hall now the signage is a little bit off on the ship currently so just follow the local bar and grill um, it's toward the back of the local bar and grill that's where you will find indulge food hall but the local bar and grill is actually open 24 hours at least this space is here they have this large screen here where they put different games and things there but it is open 24 7. for our sailing it was at modified hours but on a traditional sailing it will be open 24 hours but you can get beer drink wings, pub type food, but it was really good. If you were to ask me what my favorite spot on Norwegian Prima was, it was absolutely hands down the Indulge Food Hall. I love this concept. So with the Indulge Food Hall, you actually order on these kiosks here. And once you order, there's I think like eight or nine different places you can order from. They will deliver it to you. Now if you sit at one of the actual kiosks or restaurants, then you have to only order there. But if you sit in one of the open um, areas, you can order from any of the restaurants. So really nice and the food it's fabulous. We had it yesterday. Probably gonna have to see it today again for lunch. It is really, really good. So let's take a look around. Here's Tamara, which is uh, the Indian restaurant located in Indulge Food Hall. This was my favorite spot to dine in. Uh, they offer very classic Indian dishes and they actually have their own tandoor there in the kitchen. Now here we are at Coco's. Um, Coco's offers different um, chocolates and different pastries and desserts. Now some of these items here are an upcharge, such as these um, large glasses here where you can get milkshakes and specialty drinks there. Um, so just keep that in mind that some of the items here are an upcharge, some of those are complimentary. Now all of the desserts located right here in this case are complimentary. They are the same desserts that are located on the other side of Indulge Food Hall at the Just Desserts kiosk. I love that there were so many seating options inside and outside Indulge Food Hall. Just be sure to arrive early, especially on during lunch hour because the seats do fill up. Noodles was also a favorite spot of mine. They offered things such as Singapore street noodles, which I highly recommend getting. They also offer like Asian noodle soups, but everything at Noodles is delicious. And here are more seating options for you. If you wanna bring your small group here to this cabana, you can close off the curtains there and have you a little private dining event. And here is just ice cream, which is another dessert option here in Indulge Food Hall. They offer scooped ice cream. And again, here are the kiosks that you can order from um, for Indulge Food Hall. Again, if you sit at one of the specialty restaurants there, then you have to order only from that menu. So definitely use the kiosk so that you can purchase from different um, restaurants. 
And here is Luna Bar. They offer some very delicious cocktails and drinks. So the Latin Quarter, they offer different small plates of Latin inspired dishes. I highly, highly recommend the Crab Tostada. It is made with jumbo lump crab. And here are some additional seating options within Indulge Food Hall. Again, this is a beautiful space, um, makes for an Instagram worthy picture. Q Smokehouse offers Texas style barbecue. Things such as barbecue turkey sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches, spare ribs for dinner time. Um, so all kinds of options here at the Smokehouse. And here is that hidden Starbucks that I mentioned before. Um, a lot of guests didn't realize that this Starbucks was located here. And so there would always be a line there near the atrium. So definitely check out the Starbucks located here at Indulge Food Hall. All right, so here at the garden, they offer different soup and salad options. Um, this is really delicious. And I would highly recommend maybe getting a salad from here and then maybe some of the Indian uh, spiced salmon from the Indian restaurant. And here we are at Just Desserts. Again, these are complimentary desserts. I love that they're small um, so that you can try, you know, more than a couple. Um, they were really good. Um, so I really did appreciate having different options for desserts, especially between lunch and dinner. Now let's take a look at some of the outside seating options for Indulge Food Hall. Again, you can order outside. There's paper menus available here and you can also get bar service while you're outside. So I absolutely love that you can dine inside or outside. Um, I prefer the outside, but it can get pretty windy in this location, um, but it is um, a great area to sit out and relax and have some delicious food. <music> Guys, look who I ran into here on Norwegian Prima. We have... Hey guys, it's Julie. And Brian from Howie Cruise. How are you doing? Yeah. All right. You guys have to check out their channel. They cruise and um, 
How long have you guys been out? We've been out uh, just over a year, actually. Just so, over uh, a year. we've had been lucky enough, blessed enough to be able to get on a bunch of ships and some just Brian and I and some with our three kids. All but right. Our channel is definitely related to cruising, cruising with families, travel with families, and everything you need to know. So. Yeah, so if you like, you guys like our channel. So we cruise with family. You guys definitely go ahead and subscribe to their <laughs> channel. All right, so how we cruise, and you're on TikTok? We're on TikTok, TikTok. we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Yeah, That's we're, about it. you can find oh, us. Oh yeah, YouTube. <laughs> all right, on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe, give all their videos thumbs up, put that notification bell on, all right? All right, it was nice meeting you guys. Right, you. And I'm well, sure at some point we'll probably be cruising well, again together. We so I don't know, maybe we'll do a collaboration or something here Ooh. soon. So yeah, it was nice running into you guys. Yeah, great. All right, so you guys, so be sure to subscribe. <laughs> all right. All right, so I have Smokey Drive. I'm not sure what's in there, but it has tequila. So here in the Haven area, um, they don't have an exact menu. Um, you tell them what you like and they'll make it based on your preferences. So I guess once you check into your cabin, maybe they interview or give you a survey or something, um, but they um, cater the drinks based on what you like. So I just said I want some tequila, something fruity and sweet, and that's what I have. And what'd you get? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mine is uh, vodka and uh, infused, hibiscus infused vodka with, there's it feels, it tastes like there might be some Prosecco in here and something else with an orange. All right. Drink up. Here we go. <laughs> I'll take one. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Cold towel. It's not too hot out, but I'll take one. Whew. This is the Haven experience. Probably would never have it outside of this cruise. <laughs> but it's the Haven experience for those of you who want to give it a try. This is for me and Andrew. <laughs> me and Andrew about that life. <laughs> yeah, we're on a budget, so. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. pretty relaxing day. I actually had this wave of um, like a migraine that hit me and felt nauseous or what have you. But yeah, there's limited lunch options or limited all day dining options. But I did find a spot called the Local Bar and Grill. So I'm gonna go check that out. They're open 24 hours and it's like pub-like food. Um, so I'm gonna check that out and see what I can get. It's four o'clock so it's close to dinner, but um, I'm gonna see what they have that I can munch on. We have Donna Summer, the musical tonight. So I'm excited for that. And um, right now we'll just find something to eat. All right, so here I am at the local pub and grill. And it has this, these ultimate seating options. There's the bar there. I didn't realize that they actually serve food here 24 seven. So, um, Got a pretty, pretty good menu there, so we'll check it out. So I just ordered hub salad, um, six wings, um, carrot cake to try that, and then monkey business, which is a drink that has, let's see. It has a four-year rum, 
screwball peanut butter whiskey, banana, fresh lime, pure cane, and club soda. So something different. Give it a try. Oh, that is very different. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. I don't know what that is on top. I guess there's some, I'm guessing peanuts. It's not bad. It's different. I don't think I'll finish it though, but it's, it's not bad. Very strong. Very strong. But I don't think I'll finish that. Thank you. Yeah, so those wings are pretty solid. They're pretty good. Tasty. I wish they were fried a little crisp, crisper, but they're really good. Flavorful. here for Donna Summer, the musical. Um, this was on Broadway, so I'm excited to see this. Um, it does fill up. Um, book your reservations as soon as you get on the ship because it did sell. They only have two showings for this sailing, so definitely um, go ahead and make sure you get your tickets early. As you can guess, there's no filming here, so I'll have to shut the cameras off once it starts. But got here um, right at six, and it's already filling up. And as you can see, this is a smaller theater compared to a lot of other theaters. Um, they do have two levels, but again, it is very limited seating compared to other cruise ships. All right, just leaving Donna Summer the Musical. It's a must see. It was phenomenal. Couldn't record, couldn't take pictures, but it was really good. The best show that I've seen on a cruise ship thus far. So definitely check it out. Get in line early. Reserve your your time as soon as you get on the cruise ship um, because it will sell out. But definitely two thumbs up. It was amazing. So. The same sir, press no pepper cheese now. Okay. I put one, huh? It's okay? Yep. Oops. Alright. What is this? This is just... Biryani. biryani. Chicken biryani. Oh, I ordered that. I don't even know what I ordered. Mm. Alright guys, you won't believe this. It is 
11 o'clock and I'm still up. I am completely exhausted but I want to go down to the Prima Theater to check out the 70s party that they have going on. Not really check out the 70s party but I'm curious to see how the Prima Theater transforms into a nightclub. So I've been staying up just to get this content so be sure to like this video, subscribe if you have not already because uh, if you know me I'm usually in bed by nine o'clock. So exhausted, had a very fun day but I'm off to the Prima Theater to check this out. So again it turns into a nightclub. Um, we were just in there for the Donna Summer Musical so curious to see what it looks like now. We're on our way. All right, y'all, so scratch that. I'm back in the cabin. I'm going to bed. Went down there, the Donna Summer show, the second showing of it had just ended and they said that it would take about a half hour to flip the theater. So I am unfortunately not gonna catch it tonight. Maybe I'll get some footage some other way, but I'm tired, I'm going to bed. So on this note, good night. Now tomorrow we'll be in Progresso. So we'll be getting off Progresso, um, have a resort planned and We'll be checking out more of Norwegian Prima. It's been a great day, but I am exhausted. So I will catch you guys later. Good night. <laughs>